What's up, everybody? Um, before we get started, I just want y'all to hit this subscribe button right here. All right, and then after that, hit the hit the little bell. What that does is y'all get notified every time I put a video up. All right. I don't know why this DocuCom music here. What is up, guys and girls? My name is The Given Note. Today, we're gonna be going over how to sound like. She gon' pop it open. She gon' make it pour. All right. Uh, so basically, we're going over the song Sailor Moon by Little Booty Call. All right. And all he does in the song is have stacked vocal layers. So this means that each verse that he records, he does it two more times. So you get three vocals, three vocal tracks that are that are the same. And uh, they just have effects on them, like reverb and EQ and compression. And uh, you get that sound that he has in the song. So basically, here it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how it sounds uh, without the effects on that you add on the on the tracks and then uh, with the effects on. She Alright, so you hear it, it sounds uh, sounds alright, but uh, let's go ahead and throw a Spitfish, which is a, which is a the esser for the vocals, so you throw that on, and then you throw uh, a love filter and a reverb on. She gon' pop it open, she gon' make it poor, even though I drive a foreign, damn I still feel poor, so she on a dinner plate, eating crab with so uh this part of the vocals were recorded today so i was uh and, and these vocals right here were recorded another day so they sound different but uh it's pretty much the same effect all right so here they are real quick Alright, so you hear that effect, uh, it doesn't sound that, uh, that, that good with this recording, it sounds better with this one, but uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and show you how you get to that point. So here we are, here's our vocal recording track, uh, we have a limiter to, uh, or no, we have a limiter that's set to compressor, that just makes our voice more uh, leveled out and volume wise. What we do is add a threshold, negative 22. This is gonna be different for each person, but you go ahead and try my preset. So threshold, negative 22, and ratio 3.1, gain wherever you need it. it. Doesn't really matter, just put this gain wherever to make it stand out. Okay, so this is how it sounds with it off. Hello, testing, testing, and back on. All right, so now we have our EQ, which is basically a low cut hurt, or a low hurt cut. Uh, cuts out all the bass in our voice. This is how it sounds normally, and this is how it sounds, uh, you know, post. All right. So an auto tune, you don't have to have this, but I use it. I used key B minor scale and pitch 100%, alto tenor, and tracking all the way up. Humanized too. Uh, so yeah, take that off. You don't have to have it. Uh, limiter again just to turn off the background noise if you have any but uh, you don't have to have this it's all up to you uh, preset was noise gate and, and all right that's about it for that that actually sounds pretty good there we go that's that's better release a little bit off okay and uh, let's turn that back off sound good Izer. let's turn this off so what we do is uh Set it to A and then set it about 75%. You turn it on and it sounds like this. Sounds more prominent and more uh, visually, you know, HD, I guess. Or not visually, but uh, you can hear it. it. Sounds clear. And then limiter. This is this is an actual limiter. Uh, we just set the ceiling to like sit on top of our vocals so where uh, the volume of our vocals doesn't pass this point. All right. And that is about it for that. So each time you record a track, uh, just set it to a separate, uh, you know, track insert. I set mine to two. I'll name this vocals, press enter. And then on these vocals, I'm gonna be adding a Spitfish, the Esser, which takes out all the harsh sounds like that and uh, just softens them up, all right? And then we have our love filter, which 
basically it does the same thing, uh, uh, but just just adds a big filter on it, and I just set the cut to like 92, 93 percent, so it's barely doing a filter. And then our reverb is just basically the fault settings to make it sound good. So yeah, that is it, guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more, please comment down below who you want to see next. And if you stayed this long, ow, I bit my cheek. If you stayed this long, uh, if you want your tracks mixed, hit me up. I'm doing free, uh, what do you call it, free mixing on how to sound like people. So if you know how to sound like somebody, uh, make me a track. Don't mix it at all. Send it to me. My email is in the description box below. I'm going to mix it and make a video on it. And you can see how I mix and see how it sounds. And yeah. So free mixing, guys, basically for your first time. Free mixing. Uh, comment down below and blah, blah, blah. Hit me up and I'll see y'all guys later. Peace.